feels like a hidden treasure that, that you found there somehow. And certainly the you know the excitement of the team when when they they were they realized what they were dealing with was uh, was quite amazing. What was discovered off uh, the coast of Tahiti is basically a three kilometer long reef uh, of basically giant rose shaped corals. Uh, those those corals are, are you know if you look at the pictures look like giant uh, like a giant rose garden uh, you know going as far as the eye can see. And uh, what's what's quite impressive is that this uh, this ecosystem is uh, sitting at depth of uh, between 30 to 70 meters, uh, which is quite unusual because usually you know the, the vast majority of uh, of tropical coral reefs uh, sits up to the depth of 25 meters. What's important is that this reef is in very pristine state. Uh, the coral is very healthy, very rich in uh, in biodiversity. Uh, and in a sense, uh, you know, we would like to better understand how these coral reefs are, uh, you know, are becoming more resilient, uh, in a sense, to uh, you know so some of the human pressure and, of course, climate change, which is a, a major, uh, uh, you know, killer of coral reefs, especially warming waters. Um, if you look at the global picture, uh, we have lost about half of our coral reefs since the 1950s. Uh, so certainly. You know, understanding the mechanisms that makes this coral reef uh, resilient is important uh, for for the science, but also for protection, because in a sense, uh, you know, when we talk about coral reefs, uh, we're talking about 25 percent of marine biodiversity um, in those ecosystems, but we are also talking about uh, very direct and indirect benefits uh, that are derived. The direct one are you know the, the food, the, the nurseries, grounds that uh, coral reefs provide. Uh, they are also protecting against the impacts of uh, storms, of uh, tsunami. Um, but there are also, you know, benefits uh, which are not always uh, that obvious. But uh, you know, we are finding more and more potential medical solutions uh, through some of the marine organisms that live in those ecosystems, and those could have impact for, you know, curing uh, cancer, curing arthritis, or, or infections. The first uh, image that come to your mind is, is the amazement and the beauty of uh, of this uh, of this system. I mean, first of all, a, a three kilometer long reef at such depth with uh, such major, you know, uh, spectacular reef structures, um, quite, uh, quite 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 amazing. And of course, you know, finding this in a in an area where you have less light, because we're talking almost about the the twilight zone of the ocean here. The feeling is that if we are finding this system now and, and we haven't really looked for those uh, coral reefs at that sort of depth, then they could be over parts uh, of the world and over probably in the same region, over type of reefs that could be uh, identified. We need to make sure that, uh, you know, we protect the biodiversity that we have in those reefs. We've studied coral reefs so much and it's probably one of the most studied ecosystems and uh, this still never stops amazing us. Mm -hmm.